Hi, this is Aaron with Zillow Tech, and today we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the Droid 2. Now, the similarities between the Droid 1 and Droid 2, uh, design-wise, are very close. Uh, the actual outside is almost identical, other than this uh, titanium or, or gunmetal gray color here, or, or silver, or whatever you want to call this. Um, the back is a little bit more blue. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a tint of blue. Um, the phone itself though, when you slide it open, this is the biggest change. The older droid had a little touch pad like right in here and flat keys that were separated. These are all raised keys. They've done away with the little scroll uh, trackpad thing and uh, replaced that with a wider keyboard, some nicer keys, uh, all backlit like most keyboards and uh, they are raised now so that does help with uh, typing uh, when you when you're not looking, so the uh, phone itself aesthetically is pretty much the same, other than the colors in that keyboard. Now there are some significant updates to this phone. Uh, it does have Froyo on it or Android 2.2, but that will be available or is available um, on the Droid itself. Uh, on the Droid 2, it comes standard. Now there's some nice things about this phone. Uh, one of them is mainly that it has flash built in. It has voice commands, not just your normal voice commands, but you can tell it you want to text. You can speak to it and tell it you want to, um, you know, navigate, text, uh, go to a website. And uh, I know you can kind of do that with others, but this is their own uh, voice command setup. So, as you can see, the interface, this is the standard interface, uh, minus this right here. I put this on the main page. Normally it's on this page. Uh, other than that, this is how you would get the phone, and it has uh, quite a few options, very similar to the Droid X. Now the screen resolution on this, uh, from everything I could find, uh, it actually was difficult to find on the uh, Verizon and Motorola website, but it is 480 by 854 and uh, there was a comparison of the Droid and Droid, uh, Droid 2, and they're pretty much the same resolution according to that. Now. Um, that said, the, uh, the phone itself I find to be a little bit touchy. The touch screen is, is good, but it's similar to the other one. It, it sometimes feels sluggish to me, and people that I've actually handed the phone to to just get an initial impression from, like I often do, uh, have said, this feels really slow. And those are both people that have iPhones and have Android phones. they kind of given me the same, same response. Uh, I've rebooted this right now. Uh, it, it feels fine. It, it seems like it's responding well. Um, but just wanted to tell you that, that that's how the majority of people I've handed this to have said that. So just wanted to kind of tell you that. Uh, if you've used a Droid 1, I'm sure it'll feel a little bit faster. But having used an Incredible and a Droid X, I tend to find that this feels a little bit more sluggish than those. Now it does have flash, like I said, and that's quite a nice advantage on this phone. So if I go into the browser, and I hit this here, let's go to Zolotech. It'll take just a moment to load. I'm on Wi-Fi right now, and this one does not tend to have the Wi-Fi issues that the Droid X did. So you can see it's starting to load the page. And here's the nice thing. These are YouTube videos. Uh, this is actually the Droid 2 unboxing. And uh, what we'll do is go ahead and hit play. And you have the choice. And the browser crashed. Now, like I said, this has been fully rebooted before filming this video, just so that we had full speed and I could show you uh, legitimately what the performance is like. Well, let's see. Zolo Tech again. There we go. Now you do have the option of starting Flash in the browser uh, when you're playing YouTube, or you have the option of opening that YouTube video within YouTube itself. So that's really up to you and what you'd like to do. So let's go ahead and try this again. And hopefully it doesn't crash, but you can see there's ads. There we go. <laughs> So you can see it's a little choppy. And today we have what I believe to be the Droid 2. And we'll go ahead and unbox this. So you can see it's choppy, but you do have a lot of flash going on on the screen. 
you did have the ads you have the the flash itself uh, in the video uh, it is a little bit choppy I've seen that on older computers where that happens if you could shut the other flash off it'd probably be fine uh, this will not work with Hulu um, as Hulu blocks it but any other video source that's flash seems to work pretty well and you could potentially play games on here if you uh, had the patience on the smaller screen now this does have a mobile hotspot since it is Froyo here we have the 3G mobile hotspot if we hit that we can simply turn this on just like the Droid X and do we want to create security for now we'll say none and save and so all you simply do is hit that button there oh it's turning on setting up data link if you can see that <clears throat> so turning on there we go so now if you have devices around you that use Wi-Fi you've got a hotspot and that's how that works on the Droid X and the Droid 2 and it's quite nice to have and, and uh, I, I use it regularly when I can so here's uh, pretty much that's about it you do have the 5 megapixel camera uh, which records in 720 by 480 so you're not going to get full 720p video yet and uh, hopefully they can update that because uh, that update's supposed to be on the Droid Incredible and the 5 meg megapixel camera does 720p on an iPhone so hopefully they can do that on this <clears throat> um, the voice commands you can tell it to we'll try this here hit the voice go to zolotech.com <clears throat> and we're just waiting for it and it looks it, it doesn't like the pronunciation but uh, here's one of the neat things you can do is we'll try this one more time write email to Chad Zolo hi how are you today let's see what it comes up with <clears throat> excuse me so let's just wait for it here I've seen this demoed on other videos, Gizmodo did a video of it, and it seemed to work pretty well. So I was curious to check it out myself. We're still waiting for it. I, I don't have the greatest signal where I'm at now. I'm actually uh, half partially underground, so I'm not going to get the best signal down here. But when I was filming before some of the other uh, videos with signal comparison, that was actually upstairs. I just don't get a good signal down here, period, because it's underground and uh, there's some brick outside it's taking quite a while uh oh I canceled that let's try one more time email Chad Zolo hi how are you today let's see what happens here now the screen is pretty nice there we go two that's actually uh, my brother hi how are you today so very impressive I thought that was one of the coolest things you could do with this if you were on the go um, you can do memos to yourself there's a bunch of different voice commands that they actually go over um, within within the actual uh, voice command setup when you first initialize it now one of the other things too is it comes with Skype as most of the Verizon droid phones do and it's it's pre-installed I didn't install that and you can use that over Wi-Fi and that's probably uh, to take some of the load off their network even though their network seems to be more than capable so that's pretty much it for the droid 2 um, so far I, I do like it the build quality is quite nice um, other than that uh, I, like I said it does feel a little bit sluggish at times but for the most part it's a decent phone and uh, I prefer the Droid X myself just because the screen is is so nice on the larger size and it's a little bit thinner this one has a little bit more of a of a uh, thickness but that's because of the keyboard but if you need a physical QWERTY keyboard uh, this would be the way to go I don't think you'll be disappointed it has all the features of the Droid X minus the larger screen uh, battery life seems to be pretty good uh, now that it's cycled a few times through through a couple days it's just like any other smartphone it will get you through the day so that's pretty much it there isn't a whole lot more it's it's just uh, Froyo or Android Froyo it seems to uh, 
be a little bit faster than the regular version, and we'll do a comparison also once we uh, have Froyo on Droid X and The Incredible, which should be within this month or next. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or things you'd like to see before I do the full review, please uh, f please feel free to let me know. Uh, I'd, I'd love to answer all your questions if I could. Please continue to comment and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.